three, two, one, tiebreaker time. Chad here with Andrew. We're gonna get right down to it. Andrew, got a great question for you. You talk to a lot of athletes, got a lot of experiences. People have told you their problems, their issues, a lot of stuff. <laughs> if you had to narrow down a primary cause or one of the top root causes for a lot of these problems, let's try to get it down to, to an actual root cause here, like a lot of problems, problems with anxiety, emotional control, nervousness, performance level, stress, you name it. If you had to narrow it down to like one of the major factors that's causing all this stuff, what would it be? Having an intention of winning the match. Being outcome oriented. Valuing the outcome. If, if, you think, if you think about your best performances, you think about your best performances, they're effortless. Your best performances have no trying in them whatsoever. Zero trying. So flow, when we're in flow, we're playing. We're playing tennis. I know play has a real like uh, childish connotation on it, but it's not. If 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 you if you watch someone like like Roger Federer or someone, that guy doesn't work tennis. That guy's not serious about his tennis. That guy plays tennis. Plays. So play is play is what an athlete does. An athlete plays. Play is the highest thing an athlete can attain to. So on one hand, you got you're playing. When we are outcome oriented, I am now trying. I'm not playing tennis. I'm trying to get an outcome. Well, those, are, those, are, those things are moving in opposite directions. So now that I'm trying, now I have problems. Now it's a real big problem. If I'm trying to get the outcome, it's a real big problem if the opponent cheated. It's a real big problem if, if, if my, now it's making my emotions go all up because now I need to do it right. I need to, I need to try hard enough. I need to do it right. I need to get there. Now the thoughts are saying, now the self-doubt kicks in. I don't know, what are you doubting? Are you doubting in your ability to play? No, you're doubting in your ability to get the outcome. <laughs> the doubt and the outcome are inseparable. You don't need the outcome, there's no doubt. There's no insecurity. Right. So all the emotional control, all the thoughts and emotions, which essentially every problem is rooted in, in thoughts and emotions, and emotions follow thoughts, and if, I'm in a, if I need the outcome, I'm now in a state of trying. And now anything that frustrates that trying, I'm going to resist. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to manifest in my thoughts and emotions. And now I'm going to convince myself that I have a problem. And as we pursue the outcome, if you just think about it, how often do you get the outcome? You can't get it 100% of the time. You just can't do it. Let's say you're really good. You get it 70% of the time. That means if my intention is to get the outcome, not only am I creating problems and things are, things are knocking me out of my flow, but once that match is in the past, that 30, 30 to 50% of the time I'm not getting the outcome, I legitimately believe I'm failing. And so now I'm gonna be carrying these, I, I'm, I'm failing in these situations. Now I have more problems that I'm trying to fix when I was the one that decided I failed. And so having outcomes be my definition of success creates all these um, thoughts and emotions that disturb your performances. Having the outcome be success means not getting the outcome is failure. That's going to create all of the problems that you think you have that you're going to try to fix. Once we realize that you maximize improvement and you maximize performance when you are immersed in what you're doing, when you're immersed in the present moment, Maximizes performance, maximizes improvement. The reason being is when we're immersed in what we're doing, we're present. When we're present, we're not stressed. When we're not stressed, the highway between your conscious and subconscious mind, very wide. Conscious to subconscious, that is improvement. 
subconscious to conscious, that is performance. So that highway is wide open and improvement and performance can flourish. If I'm stressed, that highway closes. What is stress? Being here and wanting to be there. Wanting that, which is being outcome oriented. And so it's indirectly causing literally every single problem you're experiencing. And so can we, it's, it's letting go of that, immersing yourself in the, in the present and the here and now and getting back to the core of what you do as an athlete. You play. It's the highest thing to attain to. You, should, you need to start putting that word on a higher pedestal and say, I play. It's what I do. And, I'm, and I'm, I'm not serious about it. I'm sincere about it. Yeah, and make no mistake about it. We are playing to win. We're playing to win. That's different. There is no game if two people or two opposite teams or two people are not both trying to win. So we're playing to win, but we're unattached to the outcome, right? We're carrying it a little lightly. Win or lose, we're okay. That's not where our worth is. That's not where our identity is. Yeah, because you can't play if you're attached to the outcome. Now you're attached to the outcome and you can't play now. It's, it's disrupting your ability to play. Yeah, so just come back to the basics. We're playing a game. We're playing a game and play gets this bad rap of just like kids playing. No, I'm talking about two lion cubs going at it like if you were spectating you'd be like are they trying to kill each other but it's like that intense but it's not life or death there's not a crazy outcome on line but they're both that's what i'm talking about play fully engaged with what you're doing that's how you get present that's how you perform yeah it's like uh, think about it like this let's say you're playing video games you don't really experience self-doubt when you're playing video games. You don't experience insecurity. You don't experience fear, shame, and guilt when you're playing video games. That's playing. Well, you're playing tennis. So why are we experiencing self-doubt and insecurity and fear and guilt and shame? Well, when you're playing a video game, the point is the playing. Yes, are you trying to, it's, you're not playing the video game if you're not trying to, to, to win or to do the objective. You're not playing. So you're trying to do that as intensely and as engaged, immersing yourself in the actual playing. Not because of the outcome, because of the actual playing. And when you do that, there are no problems. There's no problems. You're not developing insecurity. You don't have any mental blocks. You're joyful, but in a, in a playful, since almost serious, I don't even like using that word, manner where you're engaged with what you're doing. But in tennis, as soon, but I'm, I'm doing it for the outcome, now I'm creating all these problems that don't actually exist. I'm creating this concept of failure and I'm carrying that with me and saying I have these problems that I now need to solve. And defining success as something that exists in the, in the future that I need to achieve creates all of these obstacles. In that, that, that appear to be in my way. I always say it, if the outcome is what matters, the present moment becomes an obstacle. This thing is in the way of this. As soon as you don't, you, you don't find your identity and you're not attached to the outcome, whatever's in the present moment is just, it's just a possibility. It's just an opportunity. It's just something that, that, it's just part of it. It's just a dynamic that I'm playing with. Something arises in the video game you respond to it. You don't just sit there and, and I mean, sometimes I guess you'll throw the controller and, and, and complain about it, but like for the most part, you don't do it, right? You're, you're engaged with what you're doing. And so, I mean, I don't know, treat tennis like a video game. Play. Go play. play. The point is playing. You're playing a game. You're playing a game. You're not working a game. <laughs> Absolutely. Go play. Get it. Peace.